Summer is fastly approaching and I think I'm ready for the kids to be home 24 seven. We'll see. Hey guys, okay, so today I have something a little bit different. I was originally planning on making my kids like a welcome to summer basket. Um, I try to get them a couple things every year right when the school year is ending. Um, my kids have about five weeks left. They get out the first week of June. So it is going to be here in no time. Plus we're moving, we have a lot of things going on. So I wanted to make it this year a little bit extra special and get some extra things. So what, and I knew this was gonna happen around Christmas time. So right after Christmas, they always have toys and things like that on a deep discount. And that's what I did. Plus I hit up the local Target dollar spot and Dollar Tree and everything is summer right now. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. If I can find links to anything, I will leave them down below in case you guys wanna check them out for your family. But this is how we are prepping for summer. So I'm gonna show the big things first because we are moving from our 2,600 square feet house into a 600 square foot house for just a little bit. Um, we're actually going to be talking about that in a future video, so hit that subscribe button and the bell right now if you are not subscribed already, if you don't wanna miss that video. But I figured I would get a lot of bigger outdoor toys because we want to be outside more than inside, especially during the summer. So I picked this up shortly after Christmas on clearance at Walmart or Target. It was probably sold at both but I picked them up from one of those. And it is just this huge mega all-star basketball set and you just blow it up pretty much. It comes with an inflatable hoop, an inflatable basketball, and a repair patch in case it gets a hole. So I thought this would be a lot of fun to play with with the kids. Another thing I picked up right after Christmas on clearance was this five-in-one backyard game combo set. So let's see, where does it tell me? It comes with two rackets, two shuttlecocks, that's what it says it's called, um, one flying disc, which is a frisbee, <laughs> one torpedo football, two slingshots, a vinyl volleyball. It also comes with a pump and the needle to blow up the volleyball. It comes with the net also, so the tension clips, the stakes, the rope, all that good stuff. So I thought this would be fun. If you guys can see the pictures there, so I just thought this would be fun. Um, we are on about six acres, so we have a lot of property, so I figured the more outdoor areas we have for the kids to play with and not just the same thing, mix it up, the better it's going to be to get out of our small living space. Okay, last bigger thing. I know I got this at Target because where's the sticker at on that side? It is a Target clearance sticker. So I found this in the clearance section and you can see that it's all beat up, but all the pieces are inside. And I thought this just looked so fun. So it's called a gator grab. And the objective is, let's see, it says these gators are hungry and it's your job to scoop, it's your job to scoop their snacks. Use the nets to scoop the colorful balls out of the swamp and into the gator's mouth. Every gator has a favorite snack, so make sure you grab the right color. The gator that gets all of his snacks first wins. This just looks so fun. And I do have four kids, three younger kids. Um, so my older daughter could play with the three younger ones while I'm trying to get some work done, or we can all play as a family, maybe take turns, because it doesn't really come with four nets. It also has a game ring and 76 balls. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, now for the little things. So everything in here is mainly from the Dollar Tree and the Target Dollar Spot. I believe I have a couple things that I got from Walmart, um, but I am just excited for this stuff. I think it's gonna be so fun for the kids. So we're just gonna take a bag at a time. And what I plan on doing is the morning after, their last day of school. So I think their last day of school is a Friday and it's a half day. So we're just gonna, you know, the kids are gonna get off, we're gonna enjoy the day. But then Saturday morning when they wake up, I'm gonna have all of this stuff just set out. I'm not making individual baskets because all of this is for us to do together. I didn't want one child to feel like a toy was just for them or a set of bubbles were just for them. I want us to spend more time as a family doing things together, so I didn't want it to be individualized, if that makes sense. So I did get enough of some things for all of us to have one, so it might 
the kids would have their own, but it's an activity that they can do together, if that makes sense. Okay, so moving on. So I'm just gonna have this set up. So I did get these bubble blowers. They look like so much fun and they were $3 each. I got them at the Target dollar spot, so I did end up getting three of them. Again, I have two, actually I didn't even tell you guys, I have twin five-year-old girls, I have a seven-year-old boy, and then my oldest is 13, she's actually turning 14. So I got a lot of kid items, because my oldest daughter will just do things with them or we'll probably have to do some special things with her outside of this. She's not into these like bubbles and stuff. So I did get three bubble blowing guns. They look like a lot of fun. It comes with the bubbles and the gun and you probably have to put a battery in it. It doesn't say anything about putting a battery in it. So it might come with the battery already. I can't tell if I see it in there or not, but that was only $3 each for these. And then I got these. My kids love anything to do with water. They love taking, we call them play baths because if it's yucky outside or if it's too cold outside, they take a bath inside um, and they're not necessarily washing themselves, they're just playing. It's basically like an indoor pool. So I found these at the Target dollar spot as well. They were only a dollar each. These were all the colors I could find. So I got six of them. There's a yellow, pink, turquoise, red, blue, and purple. So I got this for if the weather is yucky outside or they could possibly use this. Yeah, I don't know. We have an in-ground pool that we're gonna be using this summer, so I don't know if I want them to use that in that, but I will save these for those yucky days where they just want to hang out inside. Okay, these I picked up from Walmart and I was gonna get four um, because I think my daughter would enjoy this, but they only had three different kinds. So I just got the three and again, they can just share. But what are they calling these? These are called drencher discs. I believe they were, uh, gosh, $2.96. I don't think they were $3.96. They were either $1.96 or $2.96, but they are so soft. And what you do is, does it tell me exactly? I think you just soak it in the water and then you can throw it at people. They're super soft. Um, and then the water will get on the person that you throw it at. So I got this emoji. One, it's got two different faces on it. I got the unicorn, and then I got the poop emoji, which one side is smiling and one side is frowning. I thought that was really cute, and the kids are gonna get a kick out of it. I know it. So I do have one thing in here that I received as friend mail, and I just set it aside. I didn't let my kids see it because I knew it would be fun for them to have during the summer. Um, so these are kind of like those drencher discs. These are called Adventure Force, water better than water balloons hurricane reusable water balls there's a seven pack so there's seven in here it says up to a thousand splashes so i think it's basically the same thing you dunk this in the water you let it fill up and then you can throw it at people <laughs> we're gonna have to have rules like below the shoulders type of rules so nobody gets smacked in the face but you can see the little guy up here um, this kid he's got hit with one and his back is all wet so I thought that would be a lot of fun and um, Krista actually sent this to me so thank you Krista so I do have quite a few things from the Dollar Tree um, and this bag right here I actually just recently picked up just to finish out everything I wanted to have for the kids so I picked up one of these gliders and this is massive. So it says glider, foam glider plane, or foam glider, and then it's in Spanish, but includes stickers, easy to assemble, 22 inch wingspan, includes stickers, instruction sheet. So I thought this would be a lot of fun for the kids to share and just throw around. And for a dollar, I don't think it would be Super sad if they broke it right away. Um, we do have a few trees, so I don't know if it gets stuck in the tree or something, but I thought for a dollar, this is a really good find. Then I picked up two of these. So I got my son one of these, or he got one around Easter time, and they didn't really take it outside to play with. They left it in the house, and one of our animals kind of chewed on the foam. But I saw somebody the last time I went to the Dollar Tree, they were playing with one of these outside with their kids and it was flying so well, they were catching it. It just looked like a lot of fun. So I threw away the one that got ruined and I picked up two more and I'm gonna hold on to them and keep them hidden until summertime. And um, I just think this is gonna be a lot of fun to play with the kids outside. 
Okay, I have been on the hunt for these ever since I have seen a lot of other YouTube Dollar Tree haulers showing them and sharing them. Um, I think these are a lot of fun and very, I love that they're interactive. So I got these for, again, if it does happen to be a yucky day this summer sometime, that they can play with these. So these are essentially coloring books. Um, they all come with crayons, but if you download this app, you can make it come to life, which I think is awesome. So here's some of the pictures, um, and the kids do have an iPad that they share. So I thought this would be a lot of fun. So I got this Enchanted Forest and Barbie in the Color Alive, and they do have some boy versions in this, this section, or this style, but I think my son is going to like this one the best. This is Zombies, and I don't know what's different about it. This one just says Color Alive 2.0 but it doesn't say if there's anything different. They All of them come with seven crayons and 16 interactive coloring pages. This one is just in a box, so I'm not sure what the difference is, but I thought my kids would enjoy this on a yucky day when they cannot get outside this summer. All right, two other things fell out of that bag. I found these cookbooks, and all of my kids really enjoy helping me in the kitchen, my twins especially, my um, five-year-old girls, and I saw these, and when we first started this channel, I did a lot of taste tests for the Oreos and the M&Ms, because those are just the snacks that my kids gravitate towards, and they were always coming out with new flavors, so that's just kind of what we did. Every time we found a new flavor, we would buy it and taste test it and put it up on the channel. So I saw these cookbooks, and I thought they would be a lot of fun to make recipes with their favorite cookies and candy. So there's a ton of different recipes in this one that has to do with Oreos, and Oreos are actually my husband's favorite snack as well, only if he has a big glass of milk to go with it. And then M&Ms, this is the same thing. It's got lots of different recipes in here that have to do with M&Ms, so I thought this would be fun. Okay, some more things that I found at the Dollar Tree. These just seemed interesting. It says Barf Slime Ball. So it comes with a little slime packet and I guess you put it inside the emoji face and when you squeeze it, it says it's, let's see, spit it out then slurp it up. So I guess you just use this to pick up the slime and spit it out. So I got a red one because my son's favorite color is red and then I got a pink one because one of my twins, Pearl, her favorite color is pink and my other twin, Rose, doesn't really have, her favorite color is orange, but she loves any color, really. She gravitates towards orange, but she'll use whatever color I give her. She's like the least pickiest. So I picked up green for her because they didn't have an orange, and we'll see, but they love slime. Slime is all the rave right now, so we'll see how these work out. All right, this one my husband picked up at the Dollar Tree. He was like, I had an air horn as a child and it was a lot of fun. And I was like, yeah, but did you ask your mom what she thought about your air horn? So he totally picked this up for the kids and we'll see how long this lasts, but this is from the Dollar Tree. Okay, more Dollar Tree products. So these are some glow fun. The Dollar Tree has a ton of glow sticks. We actually have glow sticks always on hand. Um, I just didn't include this with this because the kids know we have those. These are new that they have not seen before. So I got a glove, um, includes one glove, lasts for hours, I'm assuming it's red, and then I got these glow wristbands and it comes with two of them. So I thought this would be fun either for July 4th when we have our party or just for any time during the summer if we're out at night and we're making s'mores or grilling out, the kids can have some glow stick fun. All right, other than slime, my kids love, let's see, they love slime. They love those excavation kits, which I was hoping I could find at the Dollar Tree or Target. They both normally have those, but no luck. And they love bath bombs, anything that has to do with bath bombs. So these are called Fizz and Surprise. I'm pretty sure I found these at Target but not in the dollar spot in the toy section, so I'm not sure how much they were. But it says collect all 12. It comes with a color change mermaid inside. So I got two of the mermaid ones for my twins. It says tails change color from warm to cold water, and it shows on the back the different mermaids that you can find. There's 12 in all. And I know my son's not gonna want a mermaid, so I found this dinosaur one here. This one says there's 28 dinosaurs to collect. 
um, and build your dino. Easy click together parts, look out for bones. So I guess the dinosaur comes in parts and you have to put it together. Last in this bag, I actually purchased all of this stuff last year. I put it up and I must have forgotten about it. It was in the garage in a bin and I just did something else last year for summer. I, I just totally forgot that I already had this. So cleaning out my garage, getting ready to move, I found it and I was like, what? So we are going to do either a fun breakfast or lunch um, on Saturday, the day after the last day of school. So that's what we're gonna use all of this stuff for. I got these little cups and they are spring fling, so they're from springtime. There's eight in here and they're all eight ounces each or they'll hold eight ounces. Then I got these little flower necklaces or lays. I got one for each of the kids. I got an orange, a pink, a green, and a blue. And these ones are really good quality. So these ones have, it's one a piece, so they were a dollar each at the Dollar Tree and they have the flowers and the beads. So a little bit more heavy duty than the other lay necklaces that are sold. Then I got them each a cup from the Dollar Tree last year and I don't, they probably don't have these same ones out this year. I think it's a new print that's going on this year, but I got each of the kids one. I got a blue, a red, a turquoise, and a pink. So they can either use this for water or I might make some fun, depending on if we do it for breakfast or for lunch, I might make some fun punch or some kind of breakfast drink. We shall see, but I got each of my kids their own cup. And since it is going to be summertime and we live in Texas and we might go on a few outings, we're going to be working outside a lot on our property. I got them each a fan <laughs> so they can cool themselves off. If they get a little bit hot and we're not necessarily jumping in the pool to cool off, they can use these. Um, and again, these came from the Dollar Tree last year. I'm pretty sure they carry these years round, year round, so they might still have them, but I got each of the kids one. I should have totally picked one up for me as well. All right, you guys, so that is everything that I picked up for my kids. The last thing I kind of need to decide on is what kind of meal we're going to do as a welcome to summer and then pick up like plates and napkins, which again, I will probably pick up from the Dollar Tree. So if you guys were looking for any budget-friendly summer fun ideas and things to get for your kids to, so you don't get that, I'm bored, mom, I'm bored, and you don't have to just say go outside, hey, take this slime and go play with it or something like that or let's do an activity together that kind of thing so i hope this gave you guys some ideas and i wanted to share things that were very budget friendly i got most of the bigger items on actually all of the bigger items on clearance and then the rest like i said was from the target dollar spot or the dollar tree so my kids are going to be super excited to see all of these things that they can spend their summer months two months enjoying. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like this kind of video and if you want to see more, if you have any other suggestions or fun things that you like to do with your kids over the summer, leave those down below so everybody can read them and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.